While trucking can be a very lucrative business, a great business to get involved in and actually spread it as a generational business that you're gonna give out to your family, obviously get them to work with you and build a business from scratch. It can definitely be a very, very good business to get involved in, uh, both in Canada and the United States. Uh, but uh, you have to consider the fact that there is investments that have to be initially made to get things going, okay? So there has to be a requirement of initial investment to actually have the business take off, okay? So in this video, we're gonna talk about what it takes to open up a trucking company. We're gonna talk about breakdown of trucking company startup costs, uh, factors that are influencing the costs and what those costs would look like. And of course, also some different strategic ways that you can reduce costs when it comes to running your trucking business. This is coming from a place of experience. This is coming from a place of been there and done that. So hopefully this will be a piece of advice that you can utilize for your own business if you decide to get in trucking or when you decide to get in trucking. We do incorporate the United States as a great place to start a trucking company, however, you have to realize that the average cost to start a trucking company uh, in the United States generally varies between $100,000 and $275,000. So these costs are greatly influenced, of course, by factors such as trucking vehicles, uh, licenses and permits and uh, insurance, and of course, the driver's salaries as well. Now, uh, trucking industry does promise a two and a half to 6% profit margin on the average. So since the profitability runs very thin, employing cost saving techniques can definitely help with regulating the operational expenses and regulating the every, uh, everyday expenses and of course, monthly expenses as well when it comes to running your trucking company. So when we look at the average cost for a trucking company, we have to look at a bunch of different things that are within a checklist, if you wanna call it, in terms of things that you will need for your trucking company to get it going the right way. So one of these things, of course, the truck itself. How much can, would a truck cost? If we're gonna give a range to this value, it's gonna be anywhere between $50,000 and $150,000, okay, to start things off. This is the truck itself. In addition to this, if you're gonna go out and become more than just a power only carrier, then you're gonna have to look at trailer expenses as well. Trailers, typically you can get used ones anywhere between $25,000 and $50,000. Now, yes, depending on the market, depending on inventory, these prices can be a lot higher. And of course, depending on the downturn of the economy as well, these numbers can also be a little bit lower as well. But on the average, in terms of the range, between $25,000 and $50,000 is what you would be looking for for your uh, truck itself. In addition to this, the registration and in incorporation fees will run you anywhere from $100 to up to about $500, depending on who you choose to do your incorporation for you. Of course, it will be cheaper to do it yourself and go through all the applications yourself, but a lot of people choose some kind of consultative approach or a, cons a, a consultant or a consulting firm to get this stuff done for them. This is why we have to give a range realistically of what you're looking for as well. The licensing and permit side of the equation, you're gonna be looking anywhere from $3,000 to about $8,000. Of course, it depends on how far you're willing to go from your domicile city and what kind of permits and licenses that you will get. In addition to this, the annual insurance, typically speaking, can be a range between, average range, between $9,000 and $12,000, okay? Now, yes, can it be higher? Of course, it depends on uh, the circumstances, depends on the drivers, the driver records, and everything else. Uh, to see where you're gonna fall in the insurance range, your commercial truck insurance that you, you will have to get. Now the hardware of the, te the technology's hardware that you're gonna have to get for your truck is gonna be anywhere between $350 to about $1,000. 
It really depends on who you go with. This could be things like electronic logging devices um, and uh, tracking devices, visibility devices. This is kind of the range that you're looking at for most of the providers out there of these tech, uh, tech uh, solutions for your trucking company. So these visibility or tracking things will help with things like keeping customers updated, that is freight brokers or shippers updated on the shipments that you run for them respectively, okay? In addition to this, uh, a website would be a good idea to get. Websites typically is gonna cost you somewhere between $500 and $5,000. If you build it yourself, yes, of course, it will be on the cheaper side. Uh, but if you go and get the services of somebody else, it will be on the more higher side that I have just stated as well. In addition to this, the legal fees or professional services, that is the, the application or processing fee of the consultant that you're choosing will range anywhere from $500 to $2,000 realistically. We have to give such a wide range because you will get consultants that can do it for cheaper, that have more, more uh, reasonable prices and some that are even well above the $2,000 mark that'll be charging you, you know, 5,000. When I started my trucking company more than a decade ago, uh, the, the gentleman that did the applications for us and stuff, his consultant fee was $5,000. That's how much he charged us to get everything completed, all the licenses, permits, applications, all that kind of stuff uh, in, in that respect. The vehicle registration stickers and documentation will run you anywhere between 500 to $1,000, okay? The truck branding, so that'll be your logo on your truck, on your trailer, that kind of stuff. You're gonna be anywhere between 2,000 and 10,000 dollars if you are choosing a company that actually does this as uh, a service. This does not include your uncle, brother, sister, aunt that can do it for you for 50% off. This includes professional services that do this on a daily basis. This is why we have to give such a wide range uh, what to expect. So again, your th this would be your one-time or initial startup getting going is going to be between 70,000 and about $280,000 in terms of the expenses that you'll be looking at here. We have to give a wide range because everybody's situation is going to be different. It's not a one size fits all when it comes to pricing and how much money you're going to spend or how much money you're going to invest into the startup of your trucking company. Now, when it comes to recurring, uh, reoccurring or recurring expenses, so these monthly things that will pop up, salaries will be anywhere between three and $8,000 typically for the drivers that you have and the people that are involved in running the daily operations like dispatchers um, and things of that nature. Marketing of your services, that could be through advertisements on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google ads as an example, will run you somewhere between two and $500 a month. And that's just to get eyeballs on your business. We live in a digital world, so the marketing side will be a part of uh, an expense that you'll have to look at in terms of a monthly uh, business expense. The accounting and bookkeeping will be anywhere between $100 and $300 typically. You can get good, again, good accountants somewhere between there. Of course, if you know somebody that is an accountant and they can give you a better discount as a service of being friends, for example, then yes, of course, you can get it for 50, 60, 75 bucks a month. But for the most part, professional services of accounting and bookkeeping will run you in that range. Fuel will run you anywhere between $3,000 and $10,000 a month per truck, okay? This depends, of course, how far you go. The further you go from your city, the more money it will be uh, that you'll be spending on fuel. If you're going to be running something like, let's say, 11,000 miles a month and you're going to become an over-the-road driver, this may cost you somewhere around $8,000 as your fuel expense for your 11,000 miles as an example, okay? Uh, repair and maintenance is hard to predict in terms of what, what you're gonna expect. Things break down, this is trucking, these are mechanical machines that you're moving around. So it can cost you anywhere between 500 as preventative maintenance and repairs and actual hardcore maintenance 
would be somewhere like 1500 uh, in terms of monthly. So the range will be between 500 and 1500 dollars per month that you should definitely be looking to set aside for a rainy day even if you don't have any repairs for that month you should definitely be looking as a as an expense monthly to to plan for it to plan for this okay and uh office again if you're going to run your business out of your own house to start in terms of the office itself yes you're not going to have this expense but if you're going to go out and rent an actual office space or right uh, uh, yard space. This will be anywhere between three and six thousand dollars per month as your monthly expense for this kind of stuff. Okay, so your recurring monthly expenses will be anywhere between ninety eight hundred dollars approximately and twenty six thousand dollars a month, uh, respectively. Okay, so as an owner operator. If you are going to do 11,000 miles a month, as an example, and you're bringing in $33,000 as your revenue, about 26,000 of that for that kind of operation, about $26,000 per month will be your operating expenses for your trucking company. So what does this mean for you? It means that you'll be left somewhere in the $7,000 range as your profit at the end of it all okay after paying everything that you need to pay for of course these costs are averages they can vary significantly it depends on things like vehicle costs licensing costs permit requirements salaries that are going to be paid and a lot more other factors as well so it's important to conduct very thorough research and plan so planning to get a more accurate estimate of the cost specifically for your specific trucking company and what you're what you're trying to do uh, in your business as well some factors that affect trucking company startup costs it's going to be things like location okay location plays a very crucial role in determining the startup costs okay for any kind of business not just trucking trucking is not an exception to the rule though the location of your trucking company will vary and uh, and will directly be influence what your labor costs are, what your fuel prices are, what your permit requirements are, business volume, okay, uh, compliance, uh, compliance fees that is, uh, and a lot more things. So certain cities and certain states have unique permit requirements for trucks to operate out of those states as well. So as an example, a New York tax account is required for any heavy vehicle operating in the state of New York that's weighing over 18,000 uh, GVW. Okay, so the gross vehicle weight, if it's over 18,000 pounds, you need to get a heavy vehicle operating uh, tax account. And just the initial filing for each vehicle can cost up to about $20 to create a New York tax account. The figure is like 19 bucks, so $20. So before starting your trucking company, map out the regions that you're going to be servicing and also the unique requirements to operate in those such services. Okay, the location will also influence the rent of your office space if you're going to go out and get office space. So, for example, the rent for a 1500 square foot commercial space in a place like San Francisco will cost you between three and six thousand dollars. But yes, if you're starting a trucking company out of Wyoming or out of North Dakota or Montana, it's probably going to be less than that. OK, and of course, starting with a home office is a very wise and smart decision for a very small scale trucking company in the beginning to save on these costs. OK, you see how the costs vary and no two trucking companies are designed alike when it comes to this kind of stuff. OK, in addition to this. The trucks themselves, if you're gonna go down a new purchase route, or if you're gonna go down a used purchase route, or how about leasing, okay, leasing out your vehicle. Trucks are gonna run the wheels of your business. Seriously, literally. So you do have to look at purchasing a, a truck for your business, okay? Now there are three ways to consider this. Buying the trucks, purchasing uh, purchasing them outright that is or leasing the vehicles uh, as an example 
The investment in heavy vehicles isn't just one small thing, okay? If you're planning to buy a brand new sleeper, high specification type of truck, expect to pay somewhere between 50,000 minimum, again, depending on the size, and something like $1,500,000, okay? Um, and it, it's a huge range because we're talking about all, all the specifications needed, okay? Now, can you get a Volvo for 275,000 or 190,000 or 150,000? Yes, okay? This is what Freightliners, as an example, Peterbilt trucks, Kenworths, yes, you can get them for between 250,000 and 150,000 as an example. But the more specific you get, the more specialized it becomes, the more heavily expensive it can get to, to, to get these uh, vehicles on the road. In addition to this, the second purchase gets you a better pricing deal also for heavy vehicles. So costs for buying used vehicles can definitely span anywhere between $15,000 and $100,000. Okay, so maybe that's the best route for you as well. And I misspoke earlier when I said 1.5 million. What I'm trying to say is between $50,000 for a newer vehicle and up to $350,000 as an example. Really depends on the specifications. Really depends on what you're going to have in that truck and how new you're, you're, you're looking to go. Lastly, when it comes to the truck, you can lease trucks as well. And the lease, leases uh, will also come with a contractual period of one to three years, depending on what your lease agreement looks like. And you should expect to pay anywhere between $1,600 and $2,500 per vehicle per month in terms of lease payouts, okay? Keep in mind the penalty fee for breaking a contractual lease in case you decide to step out earlier will apply these things do actually have an application to them. So keep that in mind if you go down the lease agreement route. In addition to this, trailers. So location, trucks, and now trailers as well. So a trucking company does require a variety of trailers to serve all kinds of markets that they're looking to get into. So much like trucks, there's different procurement or selection options that are available for, for trailers as well. If you are leasing a commercial truck, go for a trailer inclusive lease contract as an example. So a combination. But it is always a wise move to invest in a few different varieties of trailers to be desirable for shippers and, and, uh, and uh, brokers alike as well. An investment in brand new trailers can span anywhere between $25,000 and, and $150,000. Really depends on the trailers. Now we're, we're using a wide range because it's gonna depend on how long the trailer is, what kind of trailer it is, who the manufacturer of the trailer is. Um, obviously, if you're gonna go with more specialized trailers like low boy trailers, removable gooseneck trailers, those are gonna be more expensive for the heavy duty vehicles, whereas, and the heavy duty trailers. Whereas if you're going with the more general type of trailers like dry vans, then yes, expect to pay somewhere between um, 25,000 and 50,000 for that trailer. Of course, with the current interest rates, that may be more like $80,000 as an example, but it really depends who you're purchasing from, what the credit uh, agreement is, what your credit profile is as a buyer as well. This all influences rates, interest rates that is, and uh, what, what you're looking at there as well. In addition to trailers, and licenses, permits, and the related additional costs are also something to consider as well. Like you guys know, trucking, even though it's become deregulated, it's still a heavy regulated industry, okay? So you'll have to meet different government regulations to begin your trucking company. And there's a lot of fraud in the industry, so you're gonna have to get these to make sure that you're a legitimate company as well. So things like your motor carrier number and your USDOT number, uh, that'll be somewhere around $300 as an expense for yourself. Uh, commercial driver's license, uh, licenses that is, okay? So this does not include the actual CDL training, which will be thousands of dollars, 
but the CDL itself, it could be anywhere from $200 to $500 as an example. IRP plates or international registration plan plates, and of course the IFTA plan as well, that cost will be around $1,500 to $2,000 for you if you're deciding to stay domestic USA to, to certain selected states. The highway vehicle use tax or the heavy vehicle use tax is going to be anywhere from $9 to $20 to file it. These forms will be filed depending on the states that uh, require these uh, fi filings to happen. Right now, you have permitted states to have these type of applications. Uh, there's five of them. So there's New York, there's Kentucky, there's Connecticut, Oregon, and New Mexico. Okay, those are the states that will have these uh, tax filings. So if you even service these states, even if you're not from those states, you still have to get these permits and file these quarterly uh, for for these states uh, for this uh, permitted tax tax states okay in addition to this the UCR registration is needed as well this is a unified carrier registration this is going to be between again I'm talking startup costs between forty dollars and two hundred fifty dollars uh, the reason there's a range is because there's going to be brackets right for example. If you have zero to two trucks, so in other words, up to two trucks, uh, you're going to pay about 46 bucks for this, plus any kind of associated credit card fees that may come with that. Whereas if you're doing a, a, a few more trucks, it could be $250 uh, for, your, for your organization. A company like Schneider National, for example, Schneider, you've seen their orange trucks out on the road. Those guys are paying somewhere around $46,000 for the year. And this is a renewable occurring thing because they have over a thousand uh, trucks in their fleet that is, okay? That is over a thousand and one uh, trucks in their fleet. Um, BOC3 filings are also needed and that's gonna cost you between 40 and $85. It's a one-time payment, but nonetheless an expense that you have to look at, okay? So the licenses and permit requirements for each carrier operator definitely can vary depending on the reach, the boundaries of operation, how far you're willing to go, okay? You should definitely look uh, at uh, certain consultants or consulting companies. You can reach out to us or you can go and find the one that's best suited for you to help identify and acquire essential licenses for your businesses, okay? And there will be a charge for that service. However, you can find companies that charge just a nominal value like us, or you can search for the one that's best fit for you. Just understand that these expenses will be an out-of-pocket expense that you have to pay for. Overall though, expect to pay somewhere between three and $8,000 or more even on licenses and permits alone, okay? And this is why a lot of a lot of drivers hold off on opening up their own businesses until they have the funds available to do so. That's just how it goes. You also should look at things like business insurance. Okay, so insurance is another uh, very important um, expense that you will have to incur after purchasing the vehicle as, as an example. So the vehicle needs to be insured in three different aspects. One is the physical damage aspect. So insurance, uh, this type of insurance will cover the full cost of the truck and also offers a coverage for the physical damage caused on the road as well. You're going to have liability insurance and this type of coverage will be for third party damages caused by the truck or the driver. And in addition to this, there will be cargo insurance and this type of insurance covers for cargo damage in transit. And also the high value cargo or, could, or, or goods should also be insured for higher protection. So if you're going to be doing things that are high value, uh, 500,000, 1 million, 2 million and more, then you need to look at HVC uh, insurance or high value cargo insurance as an example. Now the annual insurance cost per truck is gonna be somewhere in the range of nine to $12,000. Um, can it be more? Yes, depends on the state, depends on your circumstances. Please always take that as a disclaimer. Uh, also, you don't need liability insurance if you're leasing a vehicle. Uh, it is the responsibility of the motor carrier in case you're doing uh, the uh, a lease agreement in that, a lease purchase agreement or something of that nature. But you do need to uh, purchase physical damage and cargo insurance and expect the insurance cost to range somewhere between three and $5,000 
in in those cases as well if you're uh, if you're leasing a vehicle and just need to get the physical damage insurance and cargo insurance uh, coverage as well another thing that affects how much money is going to cost you on the startup side will be the payroll expenses okay so payroll expenses are very important because that's what you're going to be that's who's going to be running your company drivers people in the office staff okay so depending on the operations of your business you will need to hire maybe a few drivers on monthly payrolls as well as company drivers even so the average commercial driver salaries in the in the USA range between $41,000 and $100,000 annually and that's roughly between 3 and $8,000 monthly payroll expense on one driver. So considering the size of your operation, payroll expenses will be significantly higher if you got a more robust, bigger operation as well. Okay? If you consider hiring drivers on an hourly basis, you're going to expect to pay somewhere between $19 and $43 per hour. Take also into account the benefits, sick leaves, insurance, and other related expenses while hiring a driver on the payroll as well. Workers' compensation and taxes left, right, and center. There's lots of things to consider when it comes to that as well. Another thing you guys need to consider is technologies, things like electronic logging devices, uh, trailer trackers, um, visibility tools, or dash cams as well. A business must look at adding technologies in everyday operations to try to reduce costs and also liability risks as well. Electronic logging devices, trailer trackers, dash cams, these kind of technologies for your trucking company can be beneficial. ELDs for the most part is a compulsory mandatory requirement. And on the other two, they're considered more favorable to have rather than mandatory. Electronic logging devices uh, pretty much capture the driver's driving status, their hours of service, their work cycle limits and, uh, and uh, timing for that. And it checks, uh, it checks it to see how compliant it is against the regulations. And so that way you can look at uh, reducing costs by making sure that uh, drivers are staying compliant. Because if you're not compliant, this is where it gets very expensive because you're going to be paying fines if your driver is caught running outside of those hours of service that the driver has on his or her clock. Okay. All in all, though, the cost for these technologies can be anywhere from $350 to $1,000 annually. Okay. So per year, what you're looking at on, on that side. When it comes to marketing, advertising, website setup, you should consider marketing expenses and that you need to look at this because you're gonna be wanting to brand your truck. So branding on the trucks and vehicles to create uh, a brand image. So people realize, recognize you in the local environment. And of course, uh, uh, some of the branding stuff, things like the US DOT number are mandatory to be placed on side of the truck. Um, and need to be visible from 50 feet away, you need to have a certain color aspect and color ratio to it. So there's a lot of things to, to consider, but that's not for you to know exactly. That's for the professional services that will be doing this to know based off the specifications of the regulations, how they need to make this branding stuff appear on your trucks and trailers. Also print media, things like leaflets, pamphlets, brochures, things of this nature are important to get the name of your company out there, business cards, things like this, and also social media, okay? Uh, and other uh, digital alternatives to social media as well. Truck branding though can be anywhere between 2000 and $10,000. Consider also spending 1000 to $10,000 or more initially on marketing as well. A website is definitely a crucial expense that you have to consider as well. And like I said, this is going to be for domain hosting, uh, email setup, all that kind of stuff is going to be anywhere from five hundred to five thousand dollars annually uh, for for your uh, web design. OK, marketing expenses are recurring and are variable expenses, so they change month over month. 
And after setting up your trucking company, set a monthly budget of something like two to $500 for marketing and promotional activities as well, okay? In addition to this, professional expenses, so legal services, okay? Um, things like legal experts, legal advice can be anywhere from 150 to $500 an hour or more, but on average, the range is between 150 and 500 bucks. You have accounting as well. So on the accounting side, like I said, it's gonna be between 100 and $300 for a good accountant. But like I said, if you have a family friend that can do it for 75 a month, that's great. That's good. That's good if you can do that as well. Also business consultants as well. Business consultants can help maximize your profit and reduce costs as well. And they usually charge an hourly fee. Uh, my consulting services are, are $200 an hour, but the big boys are going to be 500, a thousand, two thousand $2,000 as an example. Okay. Some things you should consider when you're looking at reducing your, your costs in terms of your startup costs for your trucking company, look at maybe buying a second hand vehicle, a used vehicle. Okay. So consider buying used vehicles for your business that are maybe something like <clears throat> not older than five years and also something like having less than 600,000 miles uh, on the actual engine itself. And verify also the vehicle history, very important. Ensure that you look at a physical check and get the proper documentations before finalizing an actual deal. You must invest in vehicles that show promising condition. Otherwise, repair, maintenance costs are gonna start piling up and that's not good. That's very expensive, okay? It can get very expensive very fast if you go down the cheap route and you buy a vehicle just based off price and don't do your due diligence, uh, your investigations, your research to figure out, is this legitimately what you're being sold, okay? Also leasing vehicles. Even secondhand vehicles costs are definitely significantly higher right now because of interest rates and everything else. So if you have a very limited budget to get started, consider leasing heavy trucks and trailers. Okay, the monthly rents, uh, rents on these actual vehicles are quite low compared to um, one-time buying costs. So leasing also saves insurance expenses on physical damage. Not only that, you also have to save on, you're also going to save on maintenance and upkeep costs when you lease a vehicle. Okay, so that's something to consider uh, for your trucking business. You also need to consider optimizing your insurance costs. So annual insurance expenses can get pretty, pretty expensive. So instead of uh, doing it all on your own, maybe hiring a professional to help you get maximum coverage, better deals and offers on insurance plans, okay? If you're doing it on your own, look out for umbrella plans to get the maximum coverage values on your insurance policies. So the umbrella policies that can cover everything that you need to get your trucking company uh, going from that, uh, from that perspective as well. Try to reduce marketing costs if at all possible. So there's tons of low cost marketing things that are available for you. Don't spend thousands when you are just trying to uh, scrape every dollar from um, uh, or uh, save every dollar that you can to try to increase your profits. But marketing is essential for business. You can do it on your own till you get enough money to spend enough for hiring professional help. You can opt for options like social media marketing, email marketing, advertisement marketing, video marketing, things like this to get your name available out there for people. Because if people don't know you exist, they're not gonna buy from you, okay? In addition to this, start small. Okay, if you have a little capital, small, small funds available, there's no shame in starting smaller and then eventually gradually getting uh, to the size that you want to grow your company to. It is possible to start a trucking company on a budget of $10,000 as well. Keep that in mind. You can scale your operations later by adding more trucks, taking more shipments, adding more coverage regions. But starting small can give you enough time to test the market without creating a huge liability for yourself on the money side, the capital side, okay? 
Look at also outsourcing administrative services. Okay, driver's salary is going to con uh, constitute a major part of your business expenses. So you don't want to add more on monthly expenses by hiring even more staff on payroll. So everything secondary to your business offerings can be outsourced. So things like dispatching, fleet monitoring, legal filings, marketing, back office support for invoicing, um, and accounting as well. All this stuff can be done as an outsource to save money for yourself so you can focus on doing what you're best at, okay? I hope this video has become useful for you. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. Please give this video a like, a share. Please comment. Please leave a comment if you have questions, comments, concerns, feedback, debate, whatever you need, let me know and um, I will try to help you the best I can to answer the question or guide you in the right direction. You guys can reach out to me also uh, by my email that will be in the descriptions in the video below. And thank you so much for making it this far in the video. I appreciate it. Thank you.